didn't do my scientific work in the hope of winning prizes and medals. I did it because I wanted to understand the universe. There's nothing like the thrill when you discover something no one knew before. I hope I will be remembered for my work on black holes and the origin of the universe, not for things like appearing on The Simpsons. It has been a glorious time to be alive, and doing research in theoretical physics. Our picture of the universe has changed a great deal in the last 50 years, and I'm happy if I have made a small contribution. The fact that we humans, who are ourselves mere collections of fundamental particles of nature, have been able to come this close to an understanding of the laws governing us and our universe is a great triumph. I want to share my excitement and enthusiasm about this quest. So remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Try to make sense of what you see and wonder about what makes the universe exist. Be curious. And however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. It matters that you don't just give up. There are no limits to the human spirit. I believe what makes us unique is transcending our limits. I lost my voice but I can still speak thanks to my voice synthesizer. How do we transcend these limits? With our minds, and our machines. I think global warming is a greater threat than terrorism. Climate change could kill millions. We should have a war on global warming, rather than a war on terror. We are here together, and we need to live together with tolerance and respect. We must become global citizens. I have been enormously privileged, through my work, to be able to contribute to our understanding of the universe. But it would be an empty universe indeed, if it were not for the people I love, and who love me. We are all time travelers, journeying together into the future. But let us work together to make that future a place we want to visit. Be brave, be determined, overcome the odds. It can be done. <laughs>